This is a bubble basin. Basin with bubble motif on the side. Elliptical shape. On the lips, a woven rope motif is made. Let's get started. Create a revolved surface on the front plane. Then sketch the center line. Followed by a sketch line. And ends with a arc. Add an arc relation to the horizontal center line. Drag the tip of the arc on the center line. Height set at 81 mm. Arc radius 5 mm. 13 degree angle. Base diameter 170 mm. Then fillet the bottom edge radius at 27 mm. OK. Click line for axis. Mid plane. Set the angle at 22.5 degrees. OK. Create a line for the project curve with an angle of 11.25 degrees. Exit sketch. Select the project curve, then click face. OK. Create a new plane that is parallel to the inclined plane with the two reference planes. OK. Then sketch an ellipse on the new plane. Offset entities at 0.7 mm to the project curve. There are five ellipse sketches. Tangent add relation. Vertical add relation. Set dimensions at 2 mm. And the width of each ellipse at 14 mm. Exit sketch. Create a new sketch on plane 1. Then convert entities to three alternating ellipses. Exit sketch. Select the split line, then click the face to be projected, which will later be used as a patch boundary. OK. Create a constraint curve on the front plane. Make a guideline first 1 mm. Then make the arc. Make up to 3 arcs.
use add relation to get fully defined sketch. Exit sketch. Then create another new plane for the constraint curve that is horizontal at the center of the ellipse. Draw three arcs each on a new horizontal plane. Use add relation to get fully defined sketch. Exit sketch. Select the fill surface. Click on patch boundaries. Then click constraint curve. OK. Repeat for the next two fill surfaces with the same command. Delete the face for the three split lines. Then select the knit surface to merge them. Hide three planes. Rotate surface body at 5.625 degrees. OK. Sketch on plane 1. Offset entities at 0.7 mm against the project curve as the boundary ellipse. Then select the ellipse. And make two ellipse sketches. Tangent add relation. Set the width of each ellipse at 14 millimeters.
Exit Sketch. Select the split line, then click the face to be projected, which will later be used as a patch boundary. Create a constraint curve on the front plane. Make a guideline first 1 mm. Then make the arc. Exit sketch. Draw two arcs each on a new horizontal plane. Use add relation to get fully defined sketch. Exit sketch. Select the fill surface. Click on Patch Boundaries. Then click Constraint Curve. OK. Repeat for the next one fill surface with the same command. Delete the face for the two split lines. Then select the knit surface to merge them. Create a center line on the fillet, as a reference to create a new plane against the front plane. Then from this plane, make a sketch of an ellipse. Offset entities at 0.7 mm against the project curve as the boundary ellipse. Then select the ellipse. Make a distance of 1.5 mm from the next ellipse. Tangent Add Relation Set the width of the ellipse at 14 mm Select the split line, then click the face to be projected, which will later be used as a patch boundary Create a constraint curve on the front plane Make a guideline first 1 mm. Then make the arc. Use add relation to get fully defined sketch. Exit sketch. Create a new plane. Then make a sketch for the constraint curve.
Select the fill surface. Click on patch boundaries. Then click constraint curve. OK. In the same way, create an ellipse at the bottom of the basin. Make a distance of 1.5 mm from the next ellipse. Tangent add relation. Set the width of the ellipse at 12 mm. Select the split line, then click the face to be projected, which will later be used as a patch boundary. Rotate surface at an angle of minus 5,625 degrees. Create a constraint curve on the front plane. Make a guideline first 1 millimeter. Then make the arc. Use add relation to get fully defined sketch. Exit sketch. Create a new plane. Then make a sketch for the second constraint curve. Select the fill surface. Click on patch boundaries. Then click constraint curve. OK. Delete faces. Hide sketch. Knit surfaces. Offset surface with a distance of 0 mm. Create an axis line in two planes, namely the front plane and the right plane. Copy the body by rotating the axis line. Select surface offsets 1, 2, and 3. Set the angle at minus 11.25 degrees. OK. On plane 1, convert entities to the rotated surface. Then trim the surface. Continued knit surface.
create a split line at an angle of 11.25 degrees. Trim the surface with the split line. Then copy it with the circular pattern command. Axis direction. Set number of entities at 32. OK. Knit surface for 32 entities. OK. Thickened surface with 0.7 millimeters of thickness. Thickened side 1. OK. Now, we profile the lips. Make a sketch on the front plane. Set the angle at 70 degrees. 1 millimeter width. Six millimeters high. Exit sketch. Then select the revolved surface. Click axes, midplane, and a 20 degree angle. OK. On the top plane, sketch the lines. Twelve millimeters. Copy the line sketch with a circular pattern. Two point five degrees spacing. Number of entities, 3. OK. Coincident add relation. Exit sketch. Create two new planes. Center line in front plane reference. Project curve on the surface of the lips.
then create a guide curve in the form of a spline, with references to the three ends of the center line. Exit sketch. Create arc profiles on plane 11 and plane 12, respectively. Coincident and tangent add relation. sketch for the second guide curve. Hide surface. Select a lofted surface. Click the three profiles and two guide curves. Right click or OK. Copy the lofted surface with the circular pattern command for 72 instances. Okay. Knit surface for the 72 instances earlier. Create a planar surface for the outer lips. Then trim the surface. The inside is removed. Knit surfaces. Merge entities. OK. Thicken side 2 at 0.7 millimeters. OK.
Because it can't be merged, we make it by extending the surface. Roll to previous. Convert entities on the front plane. Drag half of it. Exit sketch. Then select a revolved surface for the sketch, with a full 360 degree angle. Knit surfaces. Roll in. Edit Features Then click Merge Results OK Next we create a support for the base Select the extruded boss on the base surface Sketch a circle with a diameter of 117 millimeters Exit sketch. Set the depth to 2 mm. And thin features at 3 mm inside. OK. Finally, select full round fillets for the three different surface items. OK.